Hi, Alan McCashin Holzberg here again, along with Joe Schuler. We wanted to take a moment and show you what things to look for when you get an ETL failure notification from your job in the Blade Logic console. In the log, there will be some information, and it should point you towards a a static log on the actual BBSSA server. However, the most important information is going to come from here, the BBS console. What you'll do is you'll come to your specific URL, it'll be whatever your host name is, usually colon 9443 slash BDS, and then you'll be prompted for the BDS admin username and password. As you see here, I have that already populated. You will then go ahead and log in and you'll be at the console. From here, you can look at your configuration details and information, or you can go into the ETL management, which is what we want to look at. After you do that, you will then see all the page that has all of the ETL run information available. So you'll go to your failed scenario, or your failed operation, and you want to drill in here and look to see where the different failures were. You want to look for the red X, drill down to the deepest level possible to see what actually failed. As you can see, we're going multiple levels down here, and we have an integration error. And once we get to here, we can see what the SQL was that was run, what the failure was, and any actual error messages. As you see, there was an IO block on this particular instance which prevented it from happening, and the block was caused by no space left on device. What we request that you do in the event of an ETL failure would be to capture all of this. We recommend cutting and pasting and putting it into a document so that way we can then search through it and gather that information. But you'll do that for each one of the failed scenarios under that ETL run. In that case, that was patch, but let's go see, okay, if there was anything else. The zero Bisara ETL, which is one of the first things that gets started when ETL kicks off, also has failures. So again, you'll drill into each one of the failures and look for the bottommost bottom most problem. And we want to see each level as you go through. Well, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you, and have a great day.